Round 11 of the Aviva Premiership kicked off under the lights of Bath's Recreation Ground as Mike Ford's side hosted Gloucester. With both sides languishing at the lower end of the table, a win was imperative if Eva are planning to make an assault on the top four. And it was Bath who made the better start in a match which saw both starting 15s weakened by international commitments. After 11 minutes of relentless pressure inside Gloucester's 22, referee Mike Carley finally lost patience with the visiting forward pack. Tom Savage, the recipient of a yellow card, after a string of penalties against. And Bath's decision to continuously kick to the corner was vindicated soon after, Dominic Day powering over for the game's first try. Tom Homer couldn't add the extras, but he was on target less than 10 minutes later. The home side winning yet another penalty in Gloucester 22, and the fullback made no mistake from in front of the posts. It took 20 minutes, but the away side finally did get going. James Hook rewarding his team with three points after Chris Cook had been penalised for a deliberate knock-on. A double blow for the host, though, with centre Carl Eastman departing with a hamstring problem. 8-3, it would finish at the break. Hook missing another tough penalty to make it a two-point ball game. Into the second period, and the Welsh international made amends for his earlier miss and did make it a two-point game, but that hard work was undone just three minutes later. Matt Banahan and Samessa Rocco de Guni making a nuisance of themselves at a ruck to win a penalty that Homer slotted with ease. With the conditions quickly worsening, Gloucester very much had the win behind them, and with a lack of free-flowing rugby on display, the away side would again depend on Hook's boot as they took the lead for the first time on the night. Two penalties making it 12-11 to David Humphrey's men. Gloucester were ahead but were yet to visit Bath's 22 until scrum half Willie Hines finally raced through a gap and from the resulting breakdown the visitors had another penalty. Hook again reliable off the tee, extending his side's lead to four. And that's how it would end, Bath applying late pressure but for the second week in a row they were shut out in the second period. Makovesic winning the crucial penalty to ice the game. A huge win for the Cherry and Whites then, and their first triumph for the wreck in four years. Final score on Friday night, Bath 11, Gloucester 15.